In this video, we're going to solve the equation sine z equals i for complex solutions. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, we know that e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. So now let's let theta go to negative theta. This will be e to the i theta, negative theta equal cosine of negative theta, which is the same thing as cosine theta because it's an even function. And i sine of negative theta, which is the same thing as negative i sine of theta because it's an odd function. Okay, so we want to solve for sine theta. So this is negative, so we have to make another negative to invert it. So we'll be left with, okay, cosine theta and cosine theta will cancel. We'll have e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta equals i sine theta minus minus would be plus i sine theta, which is 2i sine theta. And now we can divide by 2i, so we get sine theta equals e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta all over 2i. Okay, but we have sine z equals i, which means that we just plug in z for theta, so we have e to the i z minus e to the minus i z all over 2i, and that's equal to i. Okay, we'll multiply by 2i on both sides, so we're going to get... 2 times i squared, i squared is defined to be negative 1, so we're going to have negative 2 equals e to the iz minus e to the minus iz. Okay, so now we're going to multiply both sides by e to the iz, so we're going to be left with e to the iz quantity squared. We're going to move the minus 2 over, so that would be plus 2, times e to the iz, and then e to the negative iz times e to the iz is, mi is 1, so just minus 1 equals 0. So this is the quadratic formula in terms of e to the iz. So we're going to get e to the iz equals negative b, which is minus 2, plus minus square root. b squared is 2 squared, so that would be 4, minus 4. a is 1, times c is minus 1, all over 2, times a, which is 1. Okay, 4 minus negative 4. Let's clean this up. So this is the same thing as 8. So the square root of 8 is defined to be the square root of 4, which is 2, times the square root of 2, this is 2 square root of 2. We can divide by 2, so we're going to be left with negative 1 plus minus. The 2 will cancel, let's just be left with square root of 2. That's equal to e to the iz. Okay, now we're going to take the natural log on both sides. So we're going to have iz equals natural log of minus 1 plus minus square root of 2. So how do we solve this? So now we'll have z1 and z2. I know there's infinite solutions, but we'll just look at the base solutions because you can just change, you can just add 2 pi n to the angle and it'll be fine. But we'll just look at the base angles. Okay. So let's look at for z1. We're gonna have so we're gonna have z1 equals one over i ln of negative one. We're gonna pick the plus square root of two. Square root of two. Yeah. And what is 1 over i, that would just be negative i times ln of something. So this would be negative ln of square root of 2 minus 1 times i. So that would be z1. z2. So z2 will be 1 over i again, ln of negative 1 minus square root of 2. Okay, but you can take out a negative 1. And everybody knows that ln of a times b is ln of a time plus ln b, right? Plus. So this will be 1 over i, you can factor out, this will be ln of negative 1 plus ln of square root of 2 plus 1, because negative 1 is negative, just negative 1, yeah. Okay, ln of negative 1, I know there's infinite angles, but we're going to just say negative 1 is e to the i pi, okay? ln of that will be just i pi, so this will be 1 over i, times i pi plus ln of square root of 2 plus 1. Okay, 1 over i times i will cancel, leaving us with pi. 1 over i is minus i again, so this would be minus ln of root 2 plus 1 times i. Okay, I know there are infinite solutions because you can just add 2 and pi to the angles. We'll just look at the base angles, and that is the end of the video. So this is z1, and this is z2. Thanks for watching.